So we are a products and services company largely focused on big data. And as part of that, we do, we help large enterprises uh, deliver the promise of big data uh, by way of services. And along the way, we have introduced products where we've seen massive gaps. And the combination is actually turning into, uh, into a very explosive benefit for our customers. So we go in there and we, we don't get out till the problem is solved. Now whether our product, Anand Venugopal here represents stream analytics, whether stream analytics will create a head start, and in some cases not. Uh, it's just a data at rest problem, but needs to be solved with some smart algorithms crafted by our uh, data scientists, or just smart data engineering, but you know, we don't leave till the problem is not solved. Delivering the promise of big data is an opportunity of a lifetime for us as a company. Uh, we're investing in products and services, and the proof is our customers, large Fortune 50 companies, willing to work with us. We are not a Fortune 500 or 1,000 yeah, or Not a reseller of our, yeah, you're and, and, and tier yet, one. Yet these large companies are very comfortable in working with us, and, and it's solely because of the value we can bring. Uh, one other uh, trend which has taken hold in the last five, seven years is uh, uh, information technology has gone on the revenue side of Fortune 500. Prior to that, it was largely seen as a cost center. Yeah. 70% of your IT cost a, is to IT, operate IT, your business. And IT was a cost center. Yeah. And, and now IT is on the revenue side as well. And, and that's where, and so IT has become an area to differentiate the company. Is it any a particular department? Has a, is it like marketing first or? We've seen this in marketing first, but I think we're seeing it all across. Uh, Anand mentioned this credit card company, which actually, uh, I'll, I'll share a story. Now the financial services company, uh, they had a massive rule-based system for fraud detection, and we actually helped them build a new system, which is based on supervised machine learning, so they could discard all the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rules they would built, which were not relevant for anybody and everybody, uh, to a fully supervised machine learning based system where the system is constantly learning from their own data and they have cut down false positives tremendously. The system paid for itself in four months. The first thing is Anand mentioned from his bias perspective, real time streaming analytics is a big area of operation for us. Uh, that's where customers have burning use cases and we're able to go, go in with our tool set and smart people, and we're able to solve, create proof of value in a very short amount of time. You know, one voice over IP company called us, and I'll give you half an hour. If this thing is really good. Can you really solve this problem without writing a line of code? And we, went, we were able to do this. Ranging to very large use cases where, you know, people are looking at offloading the traditional data warehouse, because that's choking the price points are not feasible, not viable for them to scale further. So one is, uh, you know, a lot of customers are dealing with pure data engineering problems. It's not even analytics. Uh, they're drowning in the amount of data. So they just need a better database, a data infrastructure to deal with all the new data that's coming in. And they, everybody knows. Is it the so amount or the fact that they can't sort of <coughs> make sense of it, the catalog, catalog it almost? So so dealing with data is, you know, getting the data, ingesting the data, cataloging yeah, it. Yeah, data management, sure that's that not a Hadoop issue, it's just like. They can go find it when they need to, X years from now. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is one area. Uh, the second area where people did not just come up looking for a solution, but as soon as you show light on this, is this area of real-time analytics. Yeah. And, and we just... And that's something that they haven't seen before, we, right? Every it's other day. It's a very Steve day. Jobs-like kind of mindset. Hey, they, have, they don't know what they want yet because they, they haven't they, seen it. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and we're actually, we're surprised by what we're learning on a daily basis. Every new prospect conversation is teaching us a new application, a new use case. Oh wow, we had not thought of this. And this, this morning, Anand actually gave a talk on a topic which was given to us by a customer that 
they used our streaming analytics platform as an as a big data enterprise services bus. They actually coined it for us. That's nice. And and he went and spoke, and he had 150 people in the room. Yeah. And it's great when customers do your marketing for Absolutely. you. It's fantastic because you're so successful. First problem is, what is the use case I'm going to solve? So then I'm going to solve through Storm or Spark or some proprietary platform. That's very secondary. I, I think if you go talk to enterprise customers, uh, and, and the, particularly the executives who have to go into that board meeting and justify where they are and how, how are we differentiating compared to our competitors, they have to, they, they're not dealing at a Spark or Storm. Yeah, or they don't talk that language. Whatever. They, they're dealing at, you know, what problem can I solve? Yes, how fast yes. can I solve? Uh, and and yeah. how much of a benefit can I produce? So, Okay, Praveen, we got to get in the wrap here. Thanks so much for sharing your insights. Congratulations.